Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the lovely Karina, my prometida, future Mrs. Diego, as we wait for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in California. Now, we're in Bogota, Colombia, and right behind us is the Andes Mountains, and we've got ambulances, and we've got fire trucks, and we've got, can you, listen, every five minutes, there's an ambulance or some idiot in a car me 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 anyway this is Bogota big city now this video is very important now in the past we've made videos about the USCIS form I-134 affidavit of support well the affidavit of support name no longer oh, is no. around is gone poof poof immigration decided let's change the affidavit of support form let's make this process even more complicated than it is and we're going to change the name of the form so come on along and we're going to explain it to you okay when you file your k-1 visa package to the uh, lockbox in dallas it goes to a service center and you you, know, you have to do a financial my prometido, my prometido, your future beneficiary is not going to become a public charge. So you're going to have to fill out a form, USCIS form I-134. We've made videos in the past about this. You don't have to include it in your K-1 visa package, but you will have to bring it to your embassy interview, Miss Beneficiary, and you will have to bring the USCIS form I-134. You probably, you, it depends, but you're going to have to show it at some point in the visa process. Now, in the past, it was called an affidavit of support, okay? And that name no longer exists. It's gone away. Okay, it is now called right here Declaration. I don't want to cut in front of Karina. Declaration of Financial Support. So affidavit of support is gone. It is now a declaration of financial support. But the name of the form is still USCIS form I-134. Now USCIS form, the old form was 11 pages long and I made this long laborious video about the form being 11 pages long but now that form doesn't exist. The new form is 13 pages long okay with a different format. Now this form is used to change your beneficiary's non-immigrant status because a K-1 visa is technically a non-immigrant visa. It's going to make sure he or she will not become a public charge okay. It's, it's a financial document. Basically, it's a contract between you, Mr. Sponsor, and the U.S. government. The first contract. The second contract you sign when, you're, uh, when you get married and you adjust the status, but that's another video. Now, this video is updating our last video on USCIS Form I-134. Every time I make a video, a few months pass, and then USCIS changes the process. Okay? Now, immigration is a fluid government organization which means it changes processes and then when, when a form changes we'll make a video and we keep you up to date on it and here you go so first of all let me say to you relax this form is not difficult all right it's just different you know it's like you're in your comfort zone you got used to a particular uh, process and now boom it's changed relax it's an easy form to fill out okay and you process it on your computer or you can fill it out in black ink um, go to uscis.gov go to forms look for uh, i-134 and you won't see affidavit of support anymore now it is a different name and uh, we're going to give you the answers to how to do this okay now on page one of this new form at the top of the form you Mr. Sponsor, Mrs. Sponsor, you are going to be filling out this form on behalf of your beneficiary. Okay, so you will check the second box. Check the picture. You will check the second box in question one, which says you are Mr. Sponsor, another individual who is the basically the beneficiary. You're filling this form out for your beneficiary. Okay, now next you're going to fill out lots and lots and lots of questions about your beneficiary, his or her name, his or her date of birth, her place of birth, passport information, where did she get her passport from, what country is it from. Um, it's financial questions also. Take your time when you fill out this form. Take your time. 
Okay, so you're the sponsor, Mr. Sponsor, Mr. Sponsor. You will sign this form, okay, on page 10, part 5. Remember, it's 13 pages long, so on page 10, section 5, you, Mr. Sponsor, Mr. Sponsor, you're going to sign your full name. You're not going to sign initials. It's not going to be uh, an abbreviation. It's, it's going to be your full name. First name, middle name, last name, full name, sign it. Okay? The beneficiary does not sign the form. So don't, a lot of people are having a heart attack. Oh no, the beneficiary's got to sign this form. Does she have to, can I sign for her? Can I, do I have to fly to, to, to Ecuador with this form? So, no, no, no. If you check the second box on page one at the top of the page, Mr. Sponsor, then you sign the form, Mr. Sponsor, Mr. Sponsor. Your beneficiary doesn't have to sign it. Now, now let's say you're, let's suppose in, uh, your beneficiary is going, is filling out the form for a B2 visa, a, tour, a tourist visa. She wants to come visit with you while you're waiting for the K1. And it's possible to do it. I don't recommend it, but it's possible. Then she will be the beneficiary who signs the first block on page one, and she will be the person that signs the beneficiary part. Okay? But this form primarily is for K1 visa sponsors to fill out, and you will sign it. Don't, your beneficiary doesn't have to sign it. Okay? Now, on the 2nd of January 2023, which is very close, okay, immigration will only accept the October 18th, 22nd, 2022, excuse me, October 18th, 2022 edition of this form. Now, you can, if you want to know where to find the edition of the form, okay, it's at the bottom of the page of the form, okay? Now, remember, this form is used to be this form used to be called affidavit of support it is now called declaration of financial support but the form is still USCIS form I-134 okay I urge you we urge you to check it out our recommendation ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is you go to USCIS.gov go to forms go to their website go to forms Go to look for I-134, download the instructions, download the form, it's a new format, and study the form before you start putting ink to paper, okay? Study the 13 pages and read the instructions carefully, okay? Now, you must also file a separate, a separate I-134 for your beneficiary's children, okay? So if you're sponsoring your, your future wife or husband and he or she has a child or, ch or two children, three children. Let's suppose in your you're, you're sponsoring four people, you're going to have to fill out four forms, four separate I-134s, okay? And you're going to have to sign each, fo each form and fill them out exactly, okay? Now, you're, and also, you got to prove that these children are actually belong to your beneficiary. You got to have passports, birth certificates, and all that kind of jazz. Okay, very simple. And like I mentioned, you got to sign the form, Mr. Sponsor, with your full name, first name, middle name, last name, total, the whole thing. Sign it. Okay. If you don't, immigration will reject the form and send it back, and then you're gonna have to wait another month or three to continue the process. Okay. You don't have to get this form notarized either, okay? You don't need a witness to your signature. When you sign your full name, this is a legal government document, okay? And you're signing this form under the penalty of perjury. Now, if you don't want to go to jail and get fined a ton of money, when you sign this form, make sure you're telling them everything's correct. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this form used to be called Affidavit of Support and on April 25th, now we said, I got my NOA one letter for, as of April 18th, so I used the old form when I, when I included it in the K-1 visa package. So that means I've got to redo everything. I've got to redo the I-134 form under the new form for the embassy, and that's okay. It's just more paperwork, but no worries. It's no problem, okay? So April 25th, this new form went into effect. Affidavit of support has gone away. It no longer exists. It is now called Declaration of Financial Support. Always check you are using the most up-to-date form, ladies and gentlemen, the most current up-to-date form. Now, it's common sense. It's an easy form to fill out. 
and we're going to help you through this process. We hope this information was helpful to you guys. Relax, all right? You've got this. We're in the same boat as you, rowing down the Rio, waiting for our K-1 visa. I've got more paperwork to fill out because the form changed, but that's okay, no problem. Go to USCISforms.gov, USCIS.gov, look for forms, download the new form, I-134, download the instructions, study the form, study it before you put ink to paper, okay? If you have any questions about this new form, all this new process, please let us know in the remarks below, below and we will help you. And sorry about that, folks. I had to cut away from the video. That was ambulance number five. I mean, people must be getting hit or sit. I don't know. In Bogota, Colombia, there's like an ambulance every five minutes. You know, is that a bad thing or a good thing? I don't know. But the traffic's so bad, I don't even know why they put their sirens on because they can't get through the traffic anyway. They're just sitting there in traffic. They can't go anywhere, but they get, but it, anyway, but it interferes with the video. But we hope the people in the ambulance are not too badly sick. Now, we hope this video is helpful to you. And uh, in the remarks block below, please put down any questions that you may have. This visa process is easy. I'm familiar with it. We're getting close to Christmas, okay? Papa Noel, Santa Claus is gonna come visit you and your children with lots of presents. And uh, if you're separated from your loved ones during Christmas, get on the phone, do the Facebook, do the FaceTime, yama dama do, in the what's up, chat, 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 okay? The time is passing. It's almost Christmas 2022, ladies and gentlemen. And what does that mean? It's almost 2023. What does that mean? In 2023, you are probably gonna get your visa for your K-1. And what does that mean? You're gonna be getting on a plane with your beneficiary, flying her to the United States, so you can get married. You can have, do you hear that? That's another ambulance. That's like six ambulances in the last 20 minutes. Anyway, we will see you in Colombia. Colombia and hang in there.